Speed crown there. All right, people, move up. All right, so we're going to talk about the, the little um, sick girl. Where, where so I do the donation, I'm gonna do it. but I'm going to do the next little thing for her when we finish. But right now, the housing, you know what the housing minister, minister Colonel Charles Jr. And I'm going to tell the people for cease and desist. Me could listen to him I say, because we have to dissect it. Because I wonder if I send a message to your father, you know, can I send it to your father and your sister, to yourself still. See? So, he might tell you about the land and the squatting and everything. I mean, if you listen good, I wonder if everybody will take it in where I say. You understand? But just listen this. Because we're not like hypocritical thing, you know. See? But listen this. Just listen where I say. I mean, I could die sick it. Because we're going to play back something, you know. Listen this. Cease and desist. The warning from Housing Minister Pernell Charles Jr., to those illicitly constructing houses on properties in St. Anne. The minister visited a few of these areas recently. The last day, a stern warning from Housing Minister Colonel Charles Jr. to persons building houses on land illegally accessed. Some. Wait, though. Illegally accessed? Hmm. Go on to sell the property, a few with houses, to persons interested in owning a home. We're told a few parcels have gone for as little as $100,000 with no permits or municipal corporation approval. A trend, the minister says, is taking place in various areas across St. Anne. And a center alone, St. Anne's too. And other parishes. You see, we're always in ministry. That's why Jamaica can't reach away, you know. You know, you, 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 you're going to drive a seat and when you come out, when you look at your son and your daughter in a drive a seat now, who will investigate who? And I tell you who for sees and desist and a pine finger. When more than 1,500 acres and we want see papers and all, we can't see no paper. Eh? You know why all them people and the TV station, if you have a TV station and work in the ark, so um, like when you said that now, the land um, that I claim that your father, I'm um, own. Can we see the paper? The TV station not for doing investigative journalism. Stop with the foolishness. Watch this. If that isn't the case, the usual squatting persists. After the tour of areas such as Stony Hill and Mount Edgecombe, Mr. Charles met with some residents of the Bel Air community. Of course, that they see that are not tight loaders. They are not tight loaders, people. But let us rewind this. Yeah? Can you even go put the name on a title, you know, we can't track down something, you know. Maybe you hear what I'm saying? Of course, it's there that you'll see that I'm not title owners. That will not have security of tenure because you'll have now a movement from squatting or informal settlement being for poor people to now being for criminal rich people. You hear that, people? We whine! Charles, you know, we whine! For criminal rich people. All right. We could, have, we could have seen what you say. Because sometimes you throw a stone and act and lick all on one self and one realize, you know. People who open their eyes just see what you say. And what you say, you take it mark and then you want to see other papers and things from out in the center mass. You understand? Hear this. Wanna come in and manipulate poor people? Listen good enough. You know? Wanna hear this? See? Hear this? I got things stone in a pen. To bring them big excavators and backhoes to make road and clear land. Yeah, yeah, make road and clear land. Wanna hear good? Listen. He says those residing around these informal developments must be concerned. It will devalue your property and also the unplanned developments of IMC are going to affect the water table. Him said the unplanned development where IMC saw a black steel and thing, right? And they say it's going to affect the water table. So if the government build it or somebody else plan it and build it, it's not going to affect the water table. But if you build it, it affect the water table. Foolishness. Can't tell him that still. And we can't just, we can't just name it by your foolishness. Because you have people who buy them property and if you get a thing passed, you still have a build there. 
All the students said you would block it off and say, yo, it's a no building zone. From it's a building zone, oh, you're going to protect, oh, you're going to infect the water table. Oh, because you dig a foundation and then your bill come up. Oh, it's going to infect the water table. Same way you dig a foundation, the same feet where you go, how much feet, the same way I'm going to go, definitely. So I understand that. Anyway, run this. So that means the house they are gonna build there. If you say in farmers segment, it's not gonna cause pollution going down to water source. The house they are put more no no part cause pollution going down to water source. And other houses will build all about. And we must say the same black steel and sand and them thing there. And no same concrete. No same black and steel. Eh? And we must say, so we're not gonna do drill for oil. Eh? For start foundation. And we must say to me. We must say. You must build that? But anyway, at the land we are talking about St. Thomas, but this way himself we can use it and apply it to him family, yeah? Hear this. Hear yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. ...says the ministry will work with the housing agency of Jamaica HAJ to do an assessment of the areas and gauge what can be done for some of the persons to be regularized. He, however, advised that steps will be taken through the municipal corporation to prosecute the developers. The goal of being here seeing how best we can work together to solve the problems and to define the pathway to have a sustainable community with the infrastructure that you need and the kind of protection that you need. Javon. So you are telling about the infrastructure that them need and the kind of protection. The people that might build up them kind of host. Eh? Which part this I do the water table. If you come and for build it up the same way, what it do? Is that the water table? They might dig a foundation same way like everybody dig a foundation and go up. Yeah? Which part of the water table that's a trouble? But if you come in and the same thing you can do, and if them have them land, you build the water table the same way. Right? All right. We're going to talk about the, the, the little girl after after here. But we're going to see what's going on here. We're going to see what's going on here. Because we don't want the water table to trouble, you know? You see? So that are the son talk the kawai, right? Me could hear with the father, me could hear with the father did that, you know. Because we have to have something with the father too, you know. Yeah, me could hear that one, yeah. But I have to have something with the father, man. Me could hear this. And the daughter. Growing disquiet among some residents of Old Pera in St. Thomas. They say a fledging tourism opportunity has been taken away from them. However, former member of parliament, Pernell Charles, who is at the center of the saga, says the business venture was infringing on his rights as a property owner and hmm. also violated environmental guidelines. Dwayne Anderson. Yeah, them love the environmental guidelines, though. On a year, I go up in the sand jardin somewhere. Yeah, man. What started out as a so-called hustle on a piece of land in Old Paris St. Thomas has descended into a police matter and a standoff between some residents and a former member of parliament, Colonel Charles. Residents explained to a new team that they were operating a camping and adventure business known as Outward Vibes on this property. This video they shared with us showed that business was booming. This man said he was employed to the business. Come together, clean up the place and get together with the community. And the community eat, sal get salary off it, straight. Straight them get salary, because me work there, my sister work there, my brother-in-law work there. And the shop, at night time we go and buy like food, a little alcohol from the shop to out the night. So the whole community, help the community. So but the residents soon found out that the land is owned by Colonel Charles. Eventually, the founder of the enterprise got into contact with Mr. Charles, who gave the man permission to complete one lap. Because the man are doing things. Here, who them find? Remember their barn and grow there? And you know the owner. And right away, you hear how much land, how much thousand acres of land one man own. Piece of uh, one tenth of a cent of property. The former MP said he could not allow the camping enterprise to go much further because there were several issues, including an environmental worry. Where would that storage go? So these are not things that could happen. Mr. Charles explained that soon after the venture closed, some unidentified elements started sending threats. They say, we were working on a property that is not yours. And you make the man gone and you're going to see. Well, 
within the next 24 hours, fire was burning in my, on my property. Mr. Charles says he has reported the suspected act of arson to the police. He showed us the cane fields that were burnt. Mr. Charles said those residents who were earning from the unauthorized camping project must contact him if they want new opportunities. I'm now planting cassava and pumpkin and melon and the property, particularly where they burned down. Come. So oh, you report to the police but you plant particularly where they burned down, come. So all well, 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 the people them burn it down and it just happened that you plant the whole of them thing there. You plant them there. Because you have to dig them out. So them burn it down and a particularly them burn down you plant pan. Yeah, I know you don't come show with the paper. But I want to tell people see, cease and desist. Let me tell you something with people and here. Yeah? A time for the land them were there. Nobody not supposed to. Can nobody me not see nobody live at 200 years. People them live on the land and they cut up the land and give them back, like back in the days. Give them the land. Make them farm it, make them do one hour. You understand? You know, they and then, and then pile up the land for one hour, you know, they have to turn it down to stone. Man, by 80, they shouldn't even have certain things, you know, even want to put on your mind, you know. You understand? I fling it on in a generation. People don't put in the boat, serve people. Serve what? Serve on yourself. Go in poor and come out extra rich. Come. Yeah, there. I have jobs for you. I have work for you. They don't want that work. They want to rum and jump up. That's a total disrespect. You hear? You hear, you know? And yet when them people are want to run about them data and them thing, they wanna want to run and jump up. This is how them look for Uno. Them style and this is how them thinking of them head of Uno. Yeah? This is what them take Uno for. Nothing. Zilt. Stain. Uno want to run and jump up. But when I vote in time now, Uno all right and them are going all kind of little things. Eh? Uno want to run and jump up, man. Which... I don't have to offer. As for those who destroyed his fields, Mr. Charles is talking tough. Yeah, he did. You can't burn me out. This sort. Yeah, he did. You can't burn me out. Batman business. We're going to burn out Colonel Charles. You're on a wrong mission. The former MP also stressed that the area is not unclaimed. He said the piece of land was disconnected by erosion from the wider property he owns. Mr. Charles, in the meantime, said the property will bring great opportunities to the people in the area in the near future. This property is slated to be the eastern tourism sector. So you know, just listen good, you know, where it's slated to be, you know. We love the east. There was an airstrip here before I came. Golf course and hotels. Dwayne Anderson, T. All right, so... It a, it a, it a bring the property that means it a sell. And it a bring, bring one wire well, like what I'm saying. You see? Because you hear the data say yes, yeah, so. And the people them say yes, yeah, so. But be here when the sun does sell around there, so, you know. Don't make some rich, some guy take the property and go sell it and all kind of thing. But what is, what is out there, so? You hear what it a bring? You hear this? What you have here? Who is that man? It's a treasure. Person who claims to be the owner, former MP Colonel Charles, 
And, um, person who claim to be don't claim because you, you know seen a paper I know. I'll be as a cad cad thing them come on now. Signs have been directed, um saying it's all private property and so on. The beach is also a beach where fishermen go to go out to sea from. There's a right of way that the community has used for generations from time immemorial to access the beach from this parish council road here. So the private the, the signs um, really suggest that the community shouldn't be able to access their, the beach, but that is not right because they've had generational access to the scriptures rights or what they call in law, and they should be allowed to go and access the beach as they have always done, recreate at the beach, and that's a place where they go and cook, relax, hold a meds, and um, enjoy life from time to time. The property of the hero, the section that is owned by my father and my mother, when by your father and our mother now, for your father and mother, that's the you say, you, you, you're not just listening, you know? Because everything I drop on for them shoulder, you know, the one when I just show on for them, you know? You understand? It never works, you know, sir, man. Anybody in the world, everybody knows that. And everybody here can say that as a fact. The problem that we have is that Mr. Blackford and Ms. Shaw is trying to make this a political problem. A political problem. He and her came They have video so called her feces going to the water, ma'am. And I saw water there. So so called you know. He never use the water. But up there it used for axe tire and axe pen and them never dig no pit, ma'am. It no make no sense for your attack. You understand? It was an axe pen. The whole island out there so. Zane? But you have dig a so called way and feces going to the water. In a so called way. Hmm. So she don't know if it was a party. You, you, she said, listen, even if the island is not a party, you still have to walk across. Only get it. See? Don't know when you get it. Just I get a card, you know, so I forgot. Knock back the number there. Yeah, knock back the number there fast before it calls me again. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right, so, so when she attacks, say, we never, not, we never, not, we never, this is never, never even fall play that because what she attacks and I make no sense. You understand? And you see who got her minister? You, can't pick her interest. Housing minister at that. You see what I'm saying? Housing minister, you know? No, I'm going to sit, I'm going to send this. Yeah, yeah, it's him. So, he must say, the squat that you have some people and them are want this and them sell this and that and seize and this is. Turn a housing minister, Colonel Charles Jr. Him know just two or one in a center mass. So, I know them thing I go, you can't give no housing ministry. He must just step back. Can't pick an interest because right away, you know, it's enough people are run and think this is how Jamaica run. This is how we are talking about. You might tell people about squat and them thing then we are gonna pollute the water this so when you build the same concrete, same thing. But if if them friend have it and you buy a piece from them, can you have your place where you build it by your own? Saying so you buy a piece from them and build it up. Same thing, it not pollute no water, it not pollute no ground water. When you build it, a concrete and still are using it. It's not pollute the water. That makes no sense. See what I say? And and the road there they say you can go attach just so. See? I don't see them talk. But I know we don't see no paper up on the, um, the center mass that even one, one piece of paper for say yes. They own it when they buy it. 
how much tax them are pay and all kind of things, nothing. See? You can't hear the whole of Jamaica come down and the diaspora and everybody are born and say, no, them land go. Let me, let me tell you how them things are still now. You see them people, I want to stop calling people squatter. Serious thing. You can't ban a Jamaica call it squatter. You know America used to want? Me tell you them more America back nowadays. Now they can't go look it up. The king, uh, in, in uh, Jamaica too, the king just give a much, much parcel of land to them, them white settlers, they were have them slave and them thing. They never buy nothing. You can't go look it up. See, in America, the one of the best and them thing, they don't you run out and stay up land. All we not, you have the gold rush, the same thing. After, after the, 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 the Mexican war and them thing, they the same thing they carry out. All before that. Because I remember I said them and Texas and New Mexico and, and, and California, you know. That was a part of Mexico. See? Yeah, that me go the animal. So me know the animal. See? I'm going to river walk and them things in San Antonio. So me, you know me know places. See? I don't know history that we're there. See? You understand? So them used to stick out something like you run and follow your thing and you can drop your steak and your piece of property that. Jamaica now we have our own people and them things. Some people can't afford the state to look about them. And you have a, a piece of land and a man want to farm it up and thing. Give them a, give them a plot. Give them a platter, give them something, but them can't lift pan. Stop talking about them as squatter. And the land for pay a bush and them thing, but them for going to live in the sea. Eh? You have the part when you chop off rich people, who not see them when I take it from under them foot. And tell me what, I don't see nobody, me not see nobody from the 1800 alive right now. For I walk up and down and I claim nothing. None. Right now, from, a matter of fact, I don't see nobody from 1900. Can I be 121? See? If you know passed already, that be by before the year done. See, 120 same year plus. And some of them that be 121. If you buy 1900, me not see nobody going here. Buy 1900. Them they gone already too. See? Them gone. Me understand? So, me know say you can't carry, and look here, them the rich and them thing. You can't carry nothing with you. What you do? Make the people them live. Stop talking about squatter this and that and that. You put in a government for look about people, you come and say, oh, my people them, you see the farmer say, me go chop up this and give them for farm because I better it yield some food. You have some things you can sell and we export and make some money. More than the land just the land sit down and dry and thing and we don't plan for tea fit. People vote for now and not plan for tea fit. Yeah, man. It's not good. Should I cut up and should I tell me about and, and this long paper and dry no thing? Foolishness that too. That a foolishness. You understand? Whole of that a foolishness. That you not go on. The whole of that a foolishness. See? Stop plan for thief people and stop plan for thief people and and talk about farm and settlement and talk on the want say because the more the man that talk now, the, 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 the minister, the housing minister. He does a talk about some rich people and they want thief thief the land. And when you think about it now, Look how much land gone. I think Centre must have 15,000 acres. And if you have 1,500 acres, no, 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 of, of, of 15,000 acres, 1,500, 10% that. Eh? Hmm. That bad. And I think it must be more than that. Gone already. You see? And I know nobody can see no paper. People don't got chat. I tell you what them own because this is what them do. The whole of them, both sides. Just go look what them own. Them peer where you know them coming up politics cannot give them that. Remember them have everything, everything we need and them thing. They, them see them one half father, they depend the thing. They just tell the day and in them white figure say, boy, the peer where I get we need raise up here because they can't do nothing. Can't do nothing for we. But all of a sudden, look how much land them, them, them have up there. So you burn out around 500 acres and a mines. And when the development run, I say thing I said, I tell you, when development, some people are selling this and it, the rich man them come in now and, I, and I take it and then cut it and sell it now. For this and that and we're going to put this. Talk to your old man. You understand? Them thing I to stop and people never stand up for the rights. Stand up for the rights. And justice are certain things, yeah? Make them move with the foolishness. You understand? She all show people a three finger, you know? I show people three finger. And I ask about land and what have you, what have you about land. I show people three finger. And now the sun, see what the sun say, yeah? See what I'm saying? It will seize capture in a land. So, me, me, I want to have the land. That look here. Here, tell for here, here. I hear about rich people. Just dissect it here. Cease and desist. 
The warning from Housing Minister Pernell Charles Jr. to those illicitly constructing houses on properties in St. Anne. The minister visited a few of these areas recently. The last day. A stern warning from Housing Minister Pernell Charles Jr. to persons building houses on land illegally accessed. Here, here, and look at, look at who are the minister. This is a conflict of interest. For your father in a, in a war, are your father that? See? What was a minister to? Are your father and then you, you then who no come now and I talk about this and that and about this and that and that and that. You don't know where the land them there. And I take land under people foot. The property, a few with houses, to persons interested in owning a home. We're told a few parcels have gone for as little as $100,000 with no permit. So minister... Hear them no permit. So all in a do. Because we don't own the land. All hundred thousand the land should not even sell for about much million and them thing there. Poor people have it. Make them get a pass the land. Not more than all 20 grand if them do have it, they give them who don't have it. You understand? Can't carry to a with you, you know. Because one day you forgot what me now. Them money are pile up everything and I'm and, 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 and mash up poor people. Eh? Corporation approval. A trend, the minister says, is taking place in various areas across St. Anne. And where that isn't the case, the usual... So I'm to St. Thomas. Eh? Listen to him attack you, so now. You, you, you ever put in foot in your mouth, a foot in your mouth, this, this, listen. Watting persists. After the tour of areas such as Stony Hill and Mount Edgecombe, Mr. Charles met with some residents of the Bel Air community. A couple of crosses there that we have seen that are not tight loaders, that will not have security of tenure because you have no movement. So before you talk to people, go for the title where your father have and come show you and then you come talk. Can't they can't take an interest. Go for the title for the whole of the land and come show we how to buy it. I don't know why people that I ain't one people who never stop who never stop on a foolishness, you know. Because when we when we, we sit down and we depend on social media and when we look, people are hungry and, and, and out enough things and not ask nothing not work for them. And people in a desperate and people not talk about no JLP and PMP when them are undoubting to you know. The money on go and do thing for voting there at two grand to a five grand. Yeah, and some and some liquor. And then promise some road and water. But I wanna I wanna I, I people in diaspora. I work them, I work them, I work them everything half. In a cool, in a four different season for what? Even if it's a sick or something, no 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 not. Uno still I get it. I wanna still I make them them look up lunatic at the for you that. Uno if stop it too, you know. You understand? From squatting or informal settlement being for poor people to now being for criminal rich people who are trying to come in and manipulate poor people. Yeah, yeah. Criminal rich people are trying to come in and manipulate poor people. Yeah, you understand? Foot and mouth, you know. Foot and mouth. Now, a movement from squatting or informal settlement to now be for criminal rich people who are trying to come in and manipulate poor people. To bring their big excavators and backhoes to make road and clear land and then sell to poor people. He says those residing around these informal developments must be concerned. It will devalue the property and also the unplanned developments of IMC are going to affect the water table. So well on, it's unplanned. So them people that have some nice house there, but it now um, affect the water table. I may I tell you, say them out, they, them just like a dig the foundation, a concrete are going there with black and them thing there, and then them build up. Why it affect the water table, sir? What them do? Dig around 50 feet down or, or something? And they go down, so they have a house now affect the water table. Eh? Mr. Charles says the ministry will work with the Housing Agency of Jamaica, HAJ, to do an assessment of the areas and gauge what can be done for some of the persons to be regularized. He, however, advised that steps will be taken through the municipal corporation to prosecute the developers. Yeah, prosecute. Yeah, yeah, everything I just prosecute. Yeah, yeah. Because all the problem is Eastern St. Thomas and come off, of, come off of people TV. Yeah. Solve the problem. Make the people them get back them land. 
And it's and it's simple, just tell the father say so you know what none. You understand? You know I'm nothing to do with it. And come talk the truth too. Do like what some foreigner do. You understand? Some people stand the building, a capital building, and mother and, and son tell them father and, and call the police and get them father. And mother give them daughter and all kind of things. Do the same thing. Yeah? You go dig now and find and tell me how much money you want to get and how to come to how to come buy so much land in a St. Thomas. Do you understand? And that's what you do. That's what you need to do. Stop all the foolishness and go, go, go around about, about seas and this and that. Cut up the land and give the people them. And you're not taking nothing at all with a printer and everything. Forget the title for them. You're not supposed to wait five and ten years. Foolishness that. You understand? People never stand up for the rights still, you know. Because the land is dead. Eh? Nobody now have no owner there, so nothing at all. See? Them just a notice. Something have been on them notice. They must say, e, and then them try to put in themselves because they must forget peace site and something, you know. Place a developer must say, e, them don't want a piece of this, man. So boom, bam, bam. If we can move them, we could just give them a little place and move them from there so carry them somewhere else. And then we take the view, they can good view. Don't just uh, develop. You understand? For them style. More hotel, more things. So, I just saw for them. But want it. You understand? For them style, man. Yeah, you know, you know, you know what I talk about more hotel and getting up in the center mass. I know them not think about lift the place with proper work and proper infrastructure, nothing at all. All them do is borrow money where we great 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 grand people have got pay back. The money they value. Me say, me say, me say, um, 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 the light company and all said them them almost a three percent increase again. Then there's some increase the other day, you know. Plus they move with the dollar, by the way. They might just buy the dollar. So when it did value, they now lose nothing, but they want to increase on top of that. On top of the adjustment with the dollar. So now like they might lose nothing. And they might charge you for the oil. And then they charge you for the electricity. Just look on look, look the thing. Just look on your bill and read it. They might charge you for it. It's like this. You have to you have to make a bird. You have to make a bird. Or a bun. You know, come out and say, Pan the, pan the paper, so I charge you for the flower. Quarter pound of flour. To make the bun, so I charge you for the flour. And then I charge you for the sugar and the yeast. And then you charge, you charge me for the whole product. So you work out how much bun you get, and then you just charge me for your bun. Now, when them charge you for electricity, the use of electricity and that and that, them charge a fuel charge too. And IPP charge, and government have some other hidden charge. But them just put up some things, pan. So if you are here, your, your bill come up to four grand, you end up up here at 24,000. There are always be taxes and be things where them put up. You see me, I say? That them, them thing that them first stop, make people have to stop sling light and people must can afford, you know, proper housing and all kind of things. So all them do is go and take the land them from the thing there. People stop going for the media to the man. And they stop it, the man. Get real, man. One of the start, you know, farm up some youth club, farm up some club. Yeah. Farm up you know, if you have evil leaders, I talk about God man them no human rights. Even if you have some leaders, we stand up and farm up on the thing and stand up for the area like one of una 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 of our neighborhood watch. You understand? Slow down. You know when you want to farm up them big thing the man. Come right down and you know who keep this and who keep that and secretary and farm up on the thing and then when the summon you know MP. If him not coming or say yo. If you don't come and you don't reach about you yeah, tell him because you yeah, work with me now. Because you, know? you, you as a one person now can stand up and talk to you. Unless alone, so. Because you must say, hey, man, I tell you, hey, man, I tell you something. You, we're going to turn people from vote from you. Use resources against you. And then we know so much people have to say, them now vote for you. We're going to make sure them now vote. And we're going to have to buy. We're going to have to pay them for the vote for you. We just have to say, because them now say, them vote for you little later when they're hungry. They can't call loans. You know? And they can't call nobody and nothing at all. Because anything you get to take. So we just sit on a reason with them and say, listen me. You say, Uno, if you don't vote for that man here, you can't call me for nothing at all. Nothing whatsoever. Nothing. Me nor nobody else. Nothing. We don't do nothing for no. You understand me for opening an eye. Demand change. See? That you have to do demand changes. Because when them come and go to something out of taxpayers' money and they don't sell on a vote, when them gone, if you don't sick, if granny want pill, if you know what that something happened, when you look at the people in Africa, call pan. And that no make you wake up. Say, Charles, I say, we don't go and rum and smoke there. We don't know nothing else. 
I saw them soon, them soon if, like, you know nothing. You know, if you wake up, man. I'm there, you know, I'm talk about the little girl when I finish here, yeah? You hear, man, but I'm there. You know, take this sleep mark like that. Man, I foot them out disease, put them on foot now, I'm out, because them thing there, they dedicate to some man where, you know, take home more than a thousand pieces of land, thousand years of land. That, that dedicate to them, man, now we don't see no paper. And, and you, you, for a serious note, he shouldn't be no housing minister. He might have the point of it right from Jamaica for deal with that and look and land about squatting and everything. So you see what them do? Them put him there now for even protect the land more. You know some people for call for him as a nation and for move from there, so put him somewhere else. But not a housing minister. Everything cover up right now. This shady, bad. You see them know what I do? Them know what I do when I'm turning housing minister. Look who not turning a minister, man. Jamaica, when you wake up, man, get real, man. There, you know, keep them real and honest and alone, so me up, you know. Oh.